a simple thought I recognize Can't you see their beauty? If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. <gasps> Bullshit! Fuck you, door! <laughs> Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. <laughs> Hello, Mr. President. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. <laughs> I didn't need... Still here. It didn't blow up. Not yet. Need to concentrate. Uh, so did you blow up? Of luck. Una Bama. Oh, please. I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible art. Alright. So, what exactly did we do? So, a bronze hog. You're not so tacky up close. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. I kept people from putting cameras on schools. For sleep. I feel like they should have the privacy. Yeah, bad things happen in school. Bad things happen in life. You can't fucking, you know, security watch everything all the time. You could, but I mean, is that life anymore? Anyway. Um, I always... So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. In the light of recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contribution to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Okay. Of course, the situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with my... with a written apology. Nah. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Scene Prescott. Well, I sound like a stubby motherfucker. Oh. All right, search. Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. Cabinet. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Only two more files to go. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Yeah, my ass. 
like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren is considered an exemplary student, since a long tradition of excellence. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Tumbleweeds. Look at this pile. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Hey, Marsh represents the very best uh, students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistent outstanding. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step-troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or uh. did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. <laughs> it's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should yeah. definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Hmm. Holy okay. shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. <laughs> it's the handicapped fund. That's for people that are handicapped, is it not? You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Yes, I am. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. If it was stealing money from the uh, principal, I might think about it. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. It, it definitely would have. And, and you, hopefully, though, will not... Mm, I'm gonna regret this later. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You wanna take that risk now? It's been a cray week. 
You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a train wreck waiting to happen. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Alright, before we talk to you, is there anything... Soda machine, any machine. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. It's not a bad thing. Being wired's great. Go otters. Otters. Um. Hmm. I hope the otters will survive. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Boys or girls? Hey. That's an interesting... Th I'm gonna say boys. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution. Sex me up. Boys locker room is right. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Oh my god, he likes you, you fruit loop. Zack is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? What do we this must be for training kids. No way am I touching Zack's jersey. Hmm. Alright, so we looked at all that. That my cousin here. Maybe I should have went to freaking the girls' locker room so Victoria. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Right. Ties <laughs> a fan. Yeah, I need to say a no. Sometimes. No worries, it's all bad. <laughs> Alright, we're here, I guess. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Max is a feminine. Welcome to 1950. Well, that gives me a hint that the person that has been texting me is a guy. Know that for a fact now. 
Ta-da, I've solved the case of the lost goggles. But I'm too busy now. Aww. Uh, I love Warren A. Ram. So. I bet you do. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Hmm. Bros will be bros. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. was in the that one's the boys this is life bar i think i will check out this yes we get it otters hmm. don't even think i'm going to make a move on you what now I have the power over light and death. Would turning this on be a good idea? That's the question here. Oh, it did help my vision. Um, hopefully I don't get myself in trouble, because yeah, I just kind of let myself... So, the big plan is... win. Uh, okay, well, well, this light's really only at the end. But... I keep going this way. She came out of this side, so what's like the factor? Ooh, pink goo. Time to do or dive, Max. I hope so, friend. A miracle to save Kate would have been nice. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Ugh. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? That's Kate Locker. Huh. Oh. Interesting. 
interesting. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. I came through here, it doesn't look like anything really any different. Which it is interesting. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. What if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and dude. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead <laughs> of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! Oh, shit. Someday we'll live as one family in 
Yes, so we permanently. 